What is going on guys? In today's video, we're actually gonna be talking about how I got 97,000, I think it's 128 likes on an Instagram post. Um, gonna be walking you through exactly how we did that. No, we didn't just go to a website and buy likes because that's, that's stupid. But I wanna talk about exactly what we did in this video, um, how we go about doing it, how you can kind of replicate the process too. There will also be a free download link so that you can actually follow step by step exactly how uh, I got 97,000 likes on one Instagram post, okay? The post in question, I actually have it right here. Um, the shop is called Mari Blue Shop, where the account actually is, right? This is a business page that we were just testing around with. All right, so the post is right here. This is the account Mari Blue Shop, uh, and you'll see 97,128 likes right there. Um, and I just want to walk through kind of how we did it uh, with a mix of just organic and also paid uh, advertising, okay? This one was actually for an e-commerce store that we were testing out, um, just kind of playing around with and seeing if we could just kind of get any traction with that sort of thing. So I'll explain why uh, we opted for trying to get a bunch of likes and then um, just kind of how it played out and basically exactly how you can replicate this whether it's for your personal or for your business uh, Instagram profile posts videos whatever you're doing okay so that's the video let's get to it we're gonna head back to the office we just finished up wrapping some content here me and Kai um, look at that sunset all right so I'll see you guys in the office let's go Okay. Um. Oh guys, pro tip by the way, if you ever get a parking ticket, right? So I have this hold on to it and then if you ever need to park in like in a spot that has like limited parking or like you know you might be gone like longer than two hours if it's two hour parking, just take this and then put it on your windshield. Hacks. All right, we'll see you guys back at the office. All right guys, so before the video starts, we can see that today is the uh, 13th of November. Uh, we are currently sitting at 511 in sales in this new store. If you saw our last video as well, you'll know that this ad account is actually giving us a lot of trouble um, trying to scale. As you can see, we can only scale in the wee hours of the morning. Um, today, we're only at 511. I think yesterday we had a bit of a higher day. Oh right, yeah, so $609 uh, yesterday. I think if we go over here to our analytics, um, we'll see that today, 511, down 16% from, uh, I believe, yesterday. Yeah, compared to yesterday. Um, our conversion rate is actually really good, about 6.76% right now. Um, but I think, if I'm correct, we were a bit higher yesterday. Let's see. Um, 609, and then yeah, 7. So we almost had a 7.4% conversion rate, which is honestly pretty ridiculous. Uh, AOV is a little low. Don't like that number, we're gonna try and increase it. But guys, that is just the update uh, for today and yesterday's store. As always, if you guys want to you know, learn how to do this um, or just learn how to test ads, scale ads, and just get results like this, then you know there is the program in the back end and I'll see you guys there. You can use the code um, by using ECA at checkout. All right, so let's get onto the video. All right guys, so we are back in, uh, back at, at the house now. Um, basically, you know, again, kind of going over how we got these 97,000 likes on Instagram. First thing I want to explain and make sure that you guys understand is that you need to understand what Instagram is, right? Instagram and Facebook, the same, same, you know, parent company. But Instagram is a for-profit business. What does that mean? It means that they need to make money, okay? And how does Instagram make money? So you got to think, okay? They run ads. That's that's how they make money. They don't charge their users um, to be on the platform, so they have to make money off their users. So they charge ads. Um, and if Instagram wants to continue making money. Um, then they need to continue running ads. But the only way that they can continue running ads is if they have advertisers continuing to spend them money, right? Or like to spend money on their platform. Um, and the only way to do that is if advertisers can actually get good results off of their platform, right? So hopefully that kind of makes sense, that little flow. You know, understand, understanding that should give you some insight into like why, you know, at least for me, I prefer um, trying to just uh, basically master quote unquote paid advertising versus like the algorithm or you know seeing okay let's see if we can make this thing go viral I mean there's a bunch of ways to do it we've seen you know there's I'm sure you maybe you guys have seen but like you know it's like one like plants one tree um, you know accounts are doing that stuff to try and again kind of get the algorithm on their side and you know boost the post to go viral um, appear on the explore page and whatnot but for me if I can just spend you know a little bit of money and get my post my product my myself uh, in front of a bunch of eyeballs, I would much rather do that than trying to um, spend time trying to figure out the algorithm and trying to like, you know, win it over and essentially, right? Because um, for me, I like speed. I like, you know, I don't want to have to wait and see like, oh, okay, maybe the algorithm will pick this up. Maybe it won't, you know, who knows? So that's kind of why I decided to go with the paid sort of advertising route with this particular post, okay? So um, we're gonna hop into a screen share real quick and I'll kind of show you guys uh, the back end of what this actually looks like, how much I spent, basically what did I do, what I targeted, and yeah, let's just do that. Okay, so you'll see from you know the screen now that, that I'm sharing it, um, wow, it's a lot of 
text messages I have. Um, so this, this is the back end. This is Facebook's business manager, okay? And if, again, you have no idea what I'm talking about, this might seem confusing, but I will make a little, I, like a, kind of like a walkthrough script that you can download for free that will walk you through how to set this all up um, and do it yourself if you guys want, okay? So this is the back end of Facebook, okay? And basically what I was doing is I made one campaign just for post engagement, okay? Um, this isn't something like, oh, okay, I'm gonna post a picture on my phone and I'm gonna boost it on my phone um, and tell Facebook how much to spend and stuff. I don't like that, I can't control as much. Um, I, li I like to be you know, in control of whatever I'm running um, and you know, have a lot of factors that I can tweak myself, okay? When I boost a post on Instagram or anything like that, um, although you, know, you can get good results from that, I've done that before, um, I just like being able to see and control what I'm doing and where my money is going, okay? So I made one campaign here in this back end, um, and you, you can see I didn't even have that many uh, ad sets, right, running. So this is like what? One, two, three, four, five, like six different ad sets, two worldwide, four in the US, okay? Now if you'll notice here, if we go cost per result, because again, I was paying for per, I was paying per post engagement, okay? What does that mean? If someone likes the post, if someone comments on the post, anything like that, that counts as an engagement, right? Someone engaged uh, with your content. So I was paying for that. Now you'll notice the United States uh, any of the ones that I target United States, you see here in the names, uh, United States, English, United States, English, men, female, bracelet, friendship, again, uh, just that's just kind of how I was tracking stuff, but you see anything that was based in the US, I was paying about a penny per post engagement. Now, that might not sound like a lot, but that is crazy expensive for an engagement, okay? Uh, what does that mean? It's like if someone likes the Instagram post, you just spent a penny. So to get 97,000 likes, that would be 97,000 pennies, which is a lot of money, and we don't want to be doing that. So. As you know, I was also testing worldwide audiences, which turned out to be a lot cheaper. Now you'll notice, per post engagement here, I was getting 0 .001 uh, per post engagement, so per like or per comment, which is one tenth of the cost of you know getting someone to engage with your content uh, in the states. Okay, so we'll notice uh, as this campaign was a CBO campaign, which means the budget was spread across all the ad sets um, based on Facebook's algorithm. It allocated most of the money to the worldwide audiences here. Um, this one and this one on the very bottom, okay? As you can see, we spent $117 here and then $14 here and everything else had basically less than a dollar. Now, if it had more time to optimize those ad sets, we might see the prices go down a little bit, uh, but it won't ever get near uh, as cheap as worldwide audiences, okay? so. As you can see, um, the ad or the post, right, that, that I showed you guys in the beginning of the video was shown to uh, 548,320 people, okay? Out of those 550K people, about 95,000 actually engaged with it from that post. So they liked it or they commented it. So as you can see, most of the likes came from that particular ad set, okay? Um, now, some of these ones too, You'll notice like uh, on the US ones, you only had like 66 post engagements, 57, uh, something like that, and obviously, you know, it wasn't shown to that many people. Um, now, if we go into the actual ads, right, so this is what we're actually running. Once again, that picture, you'll see that on the left side of my screen here. Um, we'll go click edit so you guys can see how I actually set that up. Um, basically, you want to add your Instagram account to your Facebook business manager. If you haven't done that, you don't know what I'm talking about, just, you know, Google Facebook business manager, make an account. You just need to have a Facebook uh, a Facebook account um, and then link you know your Instagram account and Facebook page to that. So you'll see here, right? This is the shop we are running. I linked the, the Facebook page and the Instagram account. I posted to my Instagram account prior to this. Um, so I'm not like making a post um, in this back end. I'm not boosting it on the phone. Um, I'm taking a post that I posted on my phone and then I'm clicking here, use existing post. Um, and I'm taking that one that I already made. You know, I already put the captions on and did everything like that. Um, I selected that and then I basically ran the ad. Um, now, here I was running towards a shop. You know, if most of you guys are just trying to promote yourselves, or um, you know, if you're just looking to get more likes on Instagram, you probably won't have a website URL or any sort of CTA or call to action, which is what CTA means. <laughs> but if you are a business page, then this is kind of what we are running. We weren't expecting to get conversions or anything like that from this. Again, the main uh, sort of point, I guess you could say, of running this was to basically get social proof for the post, right? If you don't know what social proof is, it's sort of like a psychology psychological trigger and basically it's like someone sees a bunch of other people doing something or liking to do something or a bunch of other people you know agreeing on something and they want to be a part of it they want to you know it, it comes back to tribe mentality which is also another psychological thing that that you can kind of study up and read on but it's just something to capitalize on that so if a bunch of people are liking something then if we take that ad that already has 97,000 likes and then we show that ad to someone, you know, say in the United States that we want to buy that bracelet, right? Because that's what the picture is of. Um, they'll see 97,000 likes and be like, oh my gosh, 97,000 people like this. Like, this must be popular. This must be in right now. 
I want to be a part of it, you know, exactly, so, so exactly like that. Um, which is sort of like the mentality that we were kind of uh, testing basically with this particular one. Now, that not might be the case with you. You might just want some likes on your post or you want to try and run the same thing, right? So this is exactly basically what we did. It's nothing crazy complicated, right? Um, again, if you just want a bunch of likes, I would go for more worldwide, okay? So again, this is not buying likes from like random websites or anything like that. It's not like bots or um, anything like that, which I'm super against, but this is real people seeing your post, engaging with it, and physically, you know, clicking the like button or commenting or something like that. Um, which again, is just more exposure for you, your business, whatever you're trying to promote, okay? So um, again, this is a very simple sort of walkthrough. I, I, I don't know, you know, sort of like how much more in depth I can kind of go into this. Um, basically just taking a post, um, putting on worldwide targeting. So again, if we go back to the actual ad set here, you guys will see, actually, yeah, this is what I forgot to show. If I scroll down here, literally my targeting was very, very, very broad. You'll see potential reach 190 million people. Um, when I was trying to see like locations and whatnot, I literally just did worldwide. I didn't go specific on any sort of country or anything. Age-wise, I left that completely open. Um, the only thing I did was make sure the language was English so that it would show it to people that spoke English or understood English. Um, didn't exclude anyone, didn't do anything like that. And basically only showed it on the Instagram feed, okay? Because it was an Instagram post. I didn't want it shown elsewhere because then the actual social proof, the likes and whatnot, would be pointless, right? I wouldn't run that as an Instagram story. I wouldn't run that anywhere else um, just as a Facebook or Instagram post, excuse me. So yeah, guys, that's basically the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's, it's really not a complicated process. Um, actually quite simple to do. And again, we didn't really spend too much money. We only spent, back out, $134.00 for 97,000 likes, which is like, what, it's like 0 .001 something, um, which is dirt cheap, okay guys? Um, we probably could've got it cheaper if we kept running it, but again, this is just a test that I was doing on my own end just to see like what we could make happen. Um, but yeah guys, that is the video. Again, if you wanna actually set this up specifically, you know, for yourself and want like a more detailed walkthrough, I'll leave a link in the description for a free download. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, make sure to comment, and make sure to subscribe, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed a bit different video, but something that I thought would be interesting. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.